Putanesca, pasta dish from Napoli, Naples in Italy. It's a delicious, bold flavoured pasta dish traditionally made with spaghetti, but I'm using fettuccine today. Whatever's in your cupboard, it's going to work. Let's make it, but let's understand Putanesca. Where does it come from? Naples, yes, but it comes from the word putana. And putana is like the S word or the F word that they use in Italy. So it's a little bit naughty. It means whore. No, kind of bad, isn't it? Because they say that this dish was made in the brothels. It was easy to make, it's cheap, but it filled people up. And they reckon if the blokes had it, it gave them a bit of energy. And sometimes the girls had it between tricks. It's super delicious. Let's get cooking. The first thing I'm going to do is get anchovies. Oh my goodness. A lot of people go, oh, why would I put anchovies? It'll taste fishy. It won't taste fishy. I promise you. But it's a key ingredient. But you can leave it out. But before I'm going to do any of that, I am going to get a pork shank into the oven at 180 degrees for 20 minutes. There's that pork shank out of the oven. It smells incredible. I'm just going to put it aside because I'm going to pull all the pork off that shank and we're going to put it into our pasta dish because we're doing a pork putanesca. So the first thing I need to do is get a little heat on a fairly large pot, a pot of boiling water on there ready to cook the pasta. And we're going to put about four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil in there. Three and four, doesn't matter if it's a little extra. That is all good. And I'm going to put two teaspoons of herb salt. If you don't have herb salt, just use normal salt. Herb salt's one of our biggest sellies at our deli to chefs. So that's ready to go. My pasta's in. The oil is not hot. We don't want olive oil to smoke. So I'm just going to lay these anchovies in there. Trust me, won't taste fishy. You'll need to get anchovies for this dish if you're trusting me, right? So now we'll just get the heat slowly coming up on that. And these anchovies are just gonna melt in there. We don't want olive oil to smoke because it becomes a carcinogenic olive oil and you get all the toxins coming out of it. But if it doesn't smoke, it's full of antioxidants and it's really good for you. See, they're bubbling away here now and they just start melting in there and I cut up some garlic thin slices sort of probably about three garlic cloves or the equivalent of three decent sized ones so let's get the garlic cloves in there now there we go now you could add some chopped up chilli in there and I'm going to do that I'm going to turn this heat down because I don't want that olive oil too hot. And you can see this anchovy just melting and slowly disappearing in there. Doesn't take long. Now I'm going to get some pasta and I've got this beautiful fettuccine made with eggs. And I'm going to do six portions. Three, four, five, six in there. This will take eight minutes to cook. One red chilli. I'm going to slice that up. You could leave it out if you like. There we go. Slice chilli in just a little bit. And the other key is capers. And I've used salted capers. You just soak them in some warm water and then you strain them off. Get those in now. And the other ingredient is I've got these smoked manuka smoked olives and it comes with a juice and I'll put that under the juice will splatter just a little bit in that oil there we go I'm going to put these around a little bit and you know you can give your olives a little bit of a squash down if you like and you can see in there now that all that anchovy is just melted away Just a little stir up there. There we go. Now, I've got some Italian herbs, and in the kit comes the Italian herbs. 
So we sell kits, right? I'm not doing this for nothing, right? I want you to buy one of these kits. Well, that's the idea anyway. And we can send this all around New Zealand. So we get the Italian herbs in there. Well, that'll be the magic that really sets this pasta dish off. Oh, the smell is just incredible. And in the kit also comes the tomatoes. So they go in. All the tomatoes, just like that. Have a stir up. Now we'll let that just tick away, bring it up to just a very gentle simmer. The maximum you would want to cook this is about 10 minutes. And I'll chop up some parsley and a little bit of oregano. So whatever's lurking out in your garden or in your drawer in your fridge, whatever herbs you've got, but I like Italian passing a little oregano. If you don't have any of those, you could put a little bit more Italian herbs in there, whatever you like. So they are chopped up and they're ready. The kit comes with a wedge of Parmigiano Reggiano. It's been aged for 24 months. Incredible cheese. There's way too much in the kit for what you need. In fact, some people will put a little Parmigiano in the dish on top, some won't put any at all. This is a brilliant dish for summer or winter. Bursting with flavour, a little bit of fire in there to give us some energy, right? For the, uh, from the chilli, you could put chilli flakes in if you like, or you could leave chilli out, doesn't really matter. So I've got the parmesan ready, I've got a strainer and a bowl ready to drain the pasta off. So now what I could do is I could take the pork shank and I could just literally pull it apart. I'm going to take the pork shank and just, because it just falls off the bone. Look at that, moist and delicious. So I'm just going to pop that in there, pull it apart as we go. Look at that, just falls off the bone. One of these pork shanks comes in the kit. There we go. Yeah, you could put tuna in here as well. Even canned tuna is fantastic with it. You could even put some prawns in if you wanted prawns, but I'm going for this beautiful pork shank in there. This dish, well, the kit feeds eight, so it's plenty of food. There we go. Looks pretty good. Got some bones left there, and that is our sauce. I like to put a little cracked pepper in, so let's find the pepper grinder. Here we go. And you notice I haven't put any salt in. I will taste it. It's unlikely it's going to need salt because that's why I'm getting the anchovy in there and it just brings the flavour out of this dish. Oh, smells so good. The sauce is ready, right? So fast. So now I'm just waiting on the pasta. Which, let me just grab a piece out. I want to just make sure it's still got a little bit of texture. It takes eight minutes to cook this pasta. Still just a fraction al dente, and that's what I want, right? So that's good. I'm just strain this off in here, taking care. There we go. Now, the herbs, I'll save just a few to put over the top of the dish. And I can turn the heat off at this stage. Ah, smells so good. And I'm going to grate some Parmigiano to sprinkle over the top. So I'm ready to serve. I've got some dried tomato to sprinkle over the top with the parmesan cheese that's going to go over the top. Let's put it in a bowl, which we could just serve it literally like this to the table, really rustic. If I want to make it just a little bit nicer, find yourself a 
pretty bowl. And I've got a stainless steel one here. So now I've just got a case of pour that out into there. Oh, so good. There we go. We'll sprinkle some of the tomato over the top. 